right, here is a remake of an oldie but a goodie, and let me show you how this is done. This picture of the frog is not the way you find it in nature. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start with a picture of a frog. I'm going to show you how to take and place the teeth inside the frog. So I found a picture of a frog. I'm going to duplicate the layer. I'll call it background copy. I'm going to use that later. For right now, I'm going to go ahead and find a picture, and I found one with a shark's mouth. So this is going to be perfect. I will use my polygonal lasso tool. And I'm going to just simply click all the way around the mouth. It should take a moment, but it will give me a precise enough selection so that you'll be able to see what's going on here. I'm not trying to get any of the extra area around. I'm only trying to get the gums and the teeth. When I get down to the very end, you can see it will change to a little circle, and I will click, and now I have a selection. Switching to my movement tool, I will now move this up to the picture, and then slide it down. It's not quite the right size. It's a little bit big. I'll use my transforming. I can go under edit to free transform or I can simply click control T which is the way I prefer. I can resize the mouth. I can turn it. In this case I'm going to turn it a little bit. I'm going to resize it a mite. If I need to I can hold down my control key and individually move part of this so that it looks just right. Now what I really want to do is allow this mouth to be a little bit bigger than it, you would think that it would be. And so, let's see, there we go. That would be about right. I'll hit enter, and now it's locked in place. Now for my background copy. I'm going to take and move it up above the top of the frog. And now you have a couple different choices. We're going to remove this area. Uh, for beginners, the eraser is a great way to do it. You can simply erase, and we'll zoom in a little bit here with a control plus so you can see what's going on. And what we simply do is we erase the area. If you need a bigger brush, you can hit the right bracket a few times, and we can speed up this process. And you can see as I reveal the teeth, they start to look as if they were originally on the frog. What you want to do is get right up as close as you can to the actual skin of the frog with not going over. This way the teeth will be exposed for maximum oomph. You probably didn't know that was a word, but it is now. There we go. It's pretty simple. I'll put it back at regular size, control zeros, uh, or control minus in this case. You can see the frog. It's complete. That's all there is to it.